And now for the 1990 Celebra Shitty, I mean Celebrity Wagon with the biggest muffin of all. Wonder if it will start on a cold day like today. At least it's sunny. You might as well follow the bunny trail where the jackrabbits live under it. I think it's more than two feet deep back here. <laughs> There's Geo Man's favorite car. And that's actually the Gland P. It's not even recognizable. Guess I won't be climbing in the driver's door of this car. I don't even know if I can get in the passenger door. You'd never know that was a celebrity. Or that was a blunder turd. You get more snow on them when they're parked back in the forest because there's no wind to blow it off. Okay, time to knock off a glacier. That's starting to look recognizable. Protection required, we're all set. Now I just gotta shovel the hood off to put a battery in. Finally got all the snow dug off. You can see the frost glistening on the block. Got a fresh battery. Let's do it. Loaded with the optional depressed windshield, thanks to Hayden. Now, I even got the right key. Does the radio work? Kinda. I guess. Bottle's fine. Here we go. Prime it a few times. Says we got some fuel. Prime again. Come on, don't let me down. You're a Chevy. You've always started. Oh, oh, oh. We got a fart. Yep. It doesn't like no back pressure in a cold day, that's for sure. Yes. 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 You can depend on your Chevrolet, that's for sure. Some of my Toyotas didn't start this year, but Chevy's, Chevy's always did. It's always good to rev your engines on a cold day. Sweet. <coughs> the exhaust is backing up inside the car. You can see it's finding its way out. Smoking out all those poor bunnies under there. Runs perfect. <laughs> this sort of looks out of place. Now let's go back inside and see if we can do some burnout action. I'm sure, we won't go anywhere.
think we're running out of gas. Anyways, success. Now that's a commercial for you. Drive a Chevrolet. There's tire smoke even come out of the fender wells.